thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now, where we bring you the latest in all things data in business and industry. I'm joined by Ava Sadek, VP and head of Ericsson Enterprise IT Data and Analytics, along with Pierre Bjornstrom, head of Data and Analytics Platform, Enterprise IT at Ericsson. Great to have you both on the program today. Thank you for having us. Thank you, thank you. Ava, you talked today about when data is the business. What's the meaning of that? And what does it mean to get there? Uh, another way of saying is when a company is fully data driven. And that's when everything in a company is underpinned by data. So you have excellent customer experience, you have very efficient production, you know your market intelligence in real time, you make fact-based decisions. That's really when data is kind of flowing through the company. And we know by research that companies that are data driven are more profitable. Uh, they have more opportunities in the market. But of course, there's a way, you know, it's a journey to get right. there and it has many different aspects. So uh, we represent enterprise IT. So what we do is enable that with technology on that journey. But there are different other aspects to it as well. Thank you for those insights, Ava. Per, from mm -hmm. your perspective, what types of technical enablements are you focused on? Right. So, so one of the major thing is the technical foundation. So, so we are working right now on, on multiple steps and paths on, on the technical enablement. So, so one of the bigger one is, is a modern data platform. Now we are Ericsson are all on cloud. So we need to have a modern data platform to leverage cloud of what is good at. Being flexible, being scalable, and, and uh, being able to also have it in multi multiple clouds because Ericsson is on all clouds. So we need to have an and strong positioning there as well. So, so make this a flexibility and, and, uh, and uh, be able to let people start using it. So the, th the second item into this technology uh, uh, is that we need to be good in how we package the data. We need to uh, model the data. We need to quality assure the data. And here's other technical capabilities that we need to work on. And thirdly, you know, when we have this all in place, we need to be able to use it, consume it, collaborate it around it. Uh, so a marketplace is, is one of the th three bets we put right now in, into this. Right. Looking forward to, to diving into the details of this. Eva, you're working on a federated approach for data platforms and data foundation layer. Can you explain what that means and the value it brings? Mm -hmm. So that it's, it's um, we have democratized data now for some time. What we also want to do is take the capabilities out to the end users. The reason for that is we bring more capabilities in a timely fashion. So taking out the bottlenecks uh, by waiting for, for someone to do it for you. So it's really to, uh, the federation is to bring out the capabilities uh, together with the data, of course. Uh, so uh, that is something we're very focused on that requires certain level of standardization uh, that it's important to share data across the company. But the, to the lowest possible extent, and then allowing the innovation and the creativity and the new use cases to be uh, deployed on, uh, on top of that. Great to hear, Eva. Ira, from your standpoint, what is the next step in your journey to ensure that data is the business? Well, there, there are many more things to be done. We have started, we have a good foundation in place, and, and one most, uh, the, the interest in Ericsson is so high right now, and, and, and uh, the adoption is what we need to put focus on. We need to facilitate and help and support the business, leverage these capabilities that we have brought together. So that is one super important thing for us. Um, and then also, uh, I think, since now we will put data more into business, also the way for making it come there is our security and access models because it is some kind of a blocker today, to be honest, and we need to put more effort and, and energy into that. And that's you know, what we are aiming for the coming, there, coming year here. You know, great to, great to hear the perspective on, on the journey. Yeah. We're here at Data Cloud World Tour in Stockholm. The buzz is all around us. Data is so important, but why is it ever more important now than ever before? Well, first of all, we see the use cases being more horizontal in a company. So moving from silos to, you can have different type of, you can do process mining, you can do customer journeys or any type of cross-functional usage that requires the data to be available. So that's one thing. We also see the acceleration of adoption of generative AI, and that's the big, the big, the topic. big topic all around us. <laughs> yes, uh, but that have a successful outcome of that requires the quality data. 
So if you make decision on biased data or, or poor data, you, you can create, the, the output right. can be really bad. Another thing we see is the sustainability and the responsibility with the legislation requiring companies, bigger companies, to actually report across the company. And you need the data cross company. So many different uh, cross-functional use cases that we need to have the data in place in a very good quality. You know, it's all happening here at Stockholm and the Data Cloud World Tour. Finally, what advice would both of you give to other companies that have recently embarked on this journey? Bar, why don't we start with you? Right, I mean, it, it is a journey. So I think everyone that is on this journey <laughs> needs to acknowledge the fact it will take some time. You need to build, you know, the culture around it. Do you really have a buy-in from all your executives, you know, to the employee? All levels, so to say. Everyone needs to be part of this and then be engaged in this. So that's, you know, acknowledge that and, and ensure that you can make your communicating towards, towards that, the, to those groups. Uh, for instance. So, so uh, I think that is uh, something to, to bear in mind, right? Eva, would love your thoughts as well. Yes, it's a journey, as Pai was saying. Uh, show value along the way uh, and celebrate success every now and then to give everyone the motivation. It's, it's a great journey, but it has its challenges. Uh, so have fun and deliver value during the way, I would say. Well, thank you so much for thank joining for me on us. Data Cloud Now. Great to have Ericsson on the program today. Thank you. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.